Came back from a massive haul. We went to Trader Joe's, Costco, and HEB. So we started out with our favorites from Trader Joe's. We have some tortillas, some apples, some of my baby's sparkling water. We got some tomatoes, a little bit of everything. All of this vegan stuff. We're transitioning more off of the process. So you see a lot of greeneries. We have tomatoes, potatoes, broccoli, lettuce, carrots, greens, canola oil, some hummus, some lemon, some limes, some avocado, some spinach. Then we love rice and uh, starch. So we have two bags of that. We have some tomatoes, some limes, some oranges. This will go good with our jackfruit crab cakes we're gonna have. And then my baby's gonna make some tomatillo salsa and then her uh, oil so she can stay hydrated. Her body will stay nice and soft. And then in the back, we cleaned up on some candles that are usually about $7 a candle, but we caught them at Costco for $11.99 for three of them. And of course the tissue, and then for all the handshaking and everything we do, we have a grapefruit and lemon Trader Joe's hand sanitizer spray. So a couple months ago, we planted some green onion and our green onion continues to produce for us. So we just cut it and then it just regrows back and forth. So we don't have to buy green onions anymore. So she's back with the knife again. Hey everybody, welcome back to Fly Expectations at flyexpectations.com. So today, my baby is gonna treat me to something I've never seen before. These little green little, almost look like a green tomato. And it's not. What is it? It's, a, it's actually a tomatillo. A what? Which is a, a Mexican tomatillo, which is a me Mexican husk. Tomato. I thought you were black. black. It's not a green tomato, and they're originating in uh, Mexico, Central and South America. So this right here is yummy. Yes, I I am definitely uh, blackity blackity black, black as you're black. She mix. No, I'm she not. She mixes something. You see, I mix with black and black. So so this is uh, a tomatillo, and we're going to be making salsa verde, which is green sauce. Tomatillo is the ingredient that makes it green. Yeah, I just thought they just added more of these right here. No, oh, well, you know, some those are going to be in there. Um, in addition, we make it a little spicier with uh, some serrano. And we have some good old cilantro at the bottom here. We've washed all of our veggies. I wanted to show you guys what a tomatillo looks like before you dehusk it. So it looks like this. Do not be afraid of these. They're next to the peppers in the grocery store. So don't be afraid. You peel the husk off. It's really easy. It snaps right off with the little stem, comes right off. Um, it's looks a like member apple. of the nightshade family, uh, believe it or not. So it's not actually, uh, <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. Okay, so, babe, good, good. magical plant. Now we gotta go watch that. Is that the uh, Wakanda Forever? Yes. Okay, so it's a member of the Nightshade family. So I guess you could say, uh, it has, uh, yeah, I don't Luke even Cage. wanna say that. So it's Luke, Luke Cage. Cage. Luke Cage? Yeah, the Nightshade is what the Jamaican man uh, would take for his magic powers. Here we go. Okay, so there we go. We rinsed it off, and then we're gonna plop all of these on a, we just have a, a cookie sheet that we put a piece of parchment paper on, mm -hmm. and we preheated the oven to 400. Now we have different sizes of these, which I'm not so pleased with, because Let's talk we, about it. we placed an order on, um, so H-E-B is our local grocer here in Texas, right? Mm -hmm. So we placed the order for curbside. And I know a lot of people are picking up the curbside and delivery, which saves time, right? So you're just trying to save time. I thought, let me do this. I have a few minutes. It took a little longer than a few minutes to put the grocery list together. But once I have it together, I can replicate it when I need another curbside delivery again. So we would just pick it up in the morning. So did it the night before or Friday night, put in the order. I said I needed a dozen tomatillos, and they gave me a dozen, but they are different sizes. And those of you who cook know that if you have different sizes, 
you're going to end up with different cooking times. So instead of just plopping these down, I'm gonna cut them in half since I have the small ones um, also here. And the reason why I'm gonna be putting, putting them in the oven, oh, and it's almost looks like an apple on the inside. So he's showing the inside. See that? So we're gonna be using the entire thing. Um, so the reason I'm gonna be putting them in the oven, I'm gonna turn it this way, just let it get brown, kind of caramelized on top is because that is how the flavor is released raw. They were not so great. So you kind of want to cook these. Um, you can also roast these the way that you would do the roasted jalapeno peppers. So we're going to snap some peppers. And before I put them on, I just started putting them there. I'm going to cut the stems off because what we're going to do is after they're finished roasting for about 15 minutes, we're going to add them with a little bit of water to our blender. So it's going to be the peppers, the tomatillos, and our uh, um, big white onion, one big white onion. I'm actually gonna roast that as well. Just kind of bring out a little sweetness there. Uh, we're gonna pop it into the blender and then add fresh cilantro to the blend and then uh, it'll be ready. Mm. Uh, so I'm excited uh, to make this right now because we're going to have it on some we're going to have nachos verde on some nachos and frank's going to explain to you what he's doing on the stove yeah so on the stove we got some jackfruit that was in the brine and so my baby doesn't like the flavor of brine so we're de-brining this so we're boiling out the brine adding a little sugar mix that we have and it should neutralize some of that salty sour taste to it um, according to what the cookbooks have said and so we're gonna try it out, test it out, and then some of the uh, jackfruit we'll use in another video we're gonna do, and we'll have like a pulled jackfruit or pulled, like something similar to pulled chicken or pulled pork. Sandwiches. Cool. Mm -hmm. And we got our recycled vegetables for our stocks. Man. So it's almost full again. It's so almost, it's almost full. Time so for we, stock. guess what? We're gonna be making a good stock, good stock with this. And boil this down for about four hours. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited because it's going to be very good. We have so many different vegetables in there, including spicy stuff. Nothing wrong with having a little spicy broth, veggie broth. Let's uh, talk about these. Oh, stars. So in continuation with our conversation about HEB and doing the curbside delivery, check this out. So Frank, take it away. So if you get an avocado, right, you expect it to be a little firm. They had it almost like it was like a like a fun bag or something like a stress reliever ball, how soggy it was. So I feel each person that is packing <laughs> anybody's order, you should try to put it how you would want your order to be. So you want the freshest vegetables, you want everything crisp, you don't want anything that's soggy or flail, not firm. That's just my two pieces. That's just your two pieces? Yeah, my two pieces. Okay, so we're gonna, save some of these um, jalapenos and serranos because we're going to probably this week make another pico de gallo so it's nice to have a few of them left over but the cilantro we washed it all the cilantro we're going to use now with these problematic avocados <laughs> we are going to use them and there is a way for us after we blend everything together for the tomatillo salsa um we're going to oh shoot we forgot to put the onion on honey um we're going to add yeah, put it up. so we, I'm just chopping this in big chunks because we're going to blend it all. It's not too big because we don't want to be taking up a whole bunch of space in the blender. We might need another pan. Yeah. Okay, so let's put that back and we'll grab another pan and put these in. So we're going to blend it all and then we're going to um, add in half of the mix avocado. Here in Texas, a lot of the um, a lot of the restaurants put a creamy green sauce on the table. It's one of my favorites. And as it turns out, I used to eat it before I became vegan and I was thinking that I couldn't have it after I became vegan because I thought they used crema, which they put in a lot of stuff in Mexican restaurants, nice. which is like a, a Mexican cream, like a sour cream almost. Uh, it's not, it's actually avocado. So they just blend uh, white avocado into the tomatillo salsa and it's spicy and creamy and it really it goes really well on a lot of different things. We could probably make enchiladas and put um, that on the crema 
um, antivirus there. This is one of my favorite. So we'll probably replicate that. We can do that with the jackfruit that Frank is boiling right now. Mm -hmm. So that's something, a lot of recipes that we can do with um, all of these sauces. Basically, salsa means sauce. So you just have it to have it handy when you want to spice up some things. And you can do, we can make scrambled tofu with um, salsa verde. It's more, um, when I was eating meat and uh, I would go to Mexican restaurants for breakfast, mm -hmm. that's what I would always mm -hmm. have. I would always have salsa verde, that's awesome. um, like, like chilaquiles or something like that. What about the amigos taco? With migas, migas, uh, which is a scrambled egg taco with the tortilla chips inside, which is very good. And then I would put salsa verde yeah, on top. So this is the good stuff. So we, you will watch us go through blending this up. And then we're going to, you're going to see how it looks at the end. And of course, the finished product, which will be how we're going to prepare it for our dinner tonight. We actually, I'm not very hungry, which I normally at this time, it's 5.30, I'm hungry for dinner, but I'm not hungry right now. Late lunch or brunch, we went to the vegan burger fest. And if you haven't went, uh, you gone. missed out. So yeah. it's, it's ending today at 6 p.m. And you can go on uh, HoustonVegan.com, HoustonVeganAwards.com. We'll put it in the, um, in the description. description box. Yeah, you can vote for some of your favorite vegan restaurants around the city for baked goods, uh, desserts, cakes, and then uh, storefronts. But we found Lynn Diana's Soul Food Vegan and Ray J's. Ray J, so our, our friends, we love them very much. They now have a brand new truck, and they were there, and the lines were Reading. massive. Well, so we have so a video long. of how the line just kept repeating. Because the food is so good. It's so good. So we got two Hawaiian burgers, which I'm not a huge fan of pineapple on savory foods. However, they grilled the, the slice of pineapple that's on a Beyond Meat burger. They use... Um, I don't know if they use a spelt bun, honey, or, or I don't know what type of bun they use. I think it is a spelt bun. So they have uh, that jalapenos. Man, um, and they it, even breaded the uh, Oh, they had a, oh, no, that was an onion ring. Was it? Yeah, they had an onion ring on top. I mean, they hooked that thing up. It was delicious. I got avocado on the side. It's one of my favorite things. It was very good. I was excited to try it. I'm glad that we did, and I am super full. As a result, and that was like a couple hours ago. I'm still full from one burger, so that tells you a lot. And it was, I mean, I devoured it within <laughs> seconds. <laughs> I eat pretty fast anyway, but I, you know, gobbled that, that thing up. I think some people. And we're back. All right, so we got some very good vegan desserts from How Desserts. Uh, sister girl from what side of town? I think the north side of town. And <laughs> she got some uh, Creole. They're delicious. So we, she has um, uh, some fantastic desserts. And they're usually uh, Louisiana-based or, you know, Texas Southern desserts. Mm -hmm. And sometimes she adds CBD oil to the desserts. We did not get it this time. Mm -hmm. But we, I don't even think we've ever gotten it. We she got it. But you ate it. Was good. Uh, me and Honest Junior, <laughs> her son, the son child, yeah, got one cupcakes. and I got one. She didn't want to try it. She was scared. Well, I'm not scared. I just, you know my thing. So, <laughs> I had, um. Oh, the crunch cake. Mm, Louisiana crunch cake. And he got beignets from Good there. Stuff. So she was making them actually on the site. We're getting ready for Fat Tuesday and our possibly <laughs> trip to Mardi Gras. So those inspired us for that. We'll come back to you with the blending of our food. So we have some oxidized wine, and we're just going to use that partially as our wash for our vegetables. And we'll come back with roasting them and what it looks like when they're done roasted. So we just got done roasting all the vegetables. Now we're about to set it up for our sauce that we're going to make. Tomatillo sauce. Adding it to the blender. 
now you put the blender with up. We're gonna be putting this in the blender with a little water and some cumin and salt. Okay. So those are the two spices that we're gonna use outside of the veggies. The veggies have their own spice. And of course, we're adding these roasted vegetables with cilantro, Ooh. which is cancer fighting and also delicious. <laughs> For Mexican cuisine tonight, I made my first ever pico de gallo. Go ahead, boy. And my baby said it was good. Magic. She made it. Got two different tomatillo salsas. One with the used and abused avocados that came from abusive homes. They were not raised. They beat them like a runaway slave. <laughs> they were not. They were just so bruised. That poor, 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 poor. But now they have a happy home in this tomatillo salsa, which is, whoo, when I tell you delicious, we're gonna post the recipe below in the description. But it's really quite simple. We use the tomatillos, just a bunch of serranos and jalapenos, and it's one white onion. Yeah, and we will. They gave us a bunch of cilantro at the H-E-B again. Normally when we choose the cilantro, it's like we get a big, robust <laughs> bunch of cilantro. They gave us a little paltry, again, did not was not raised in the summer, you know, did not have the best rearing. Oh. <laughs> so well, we got it and we made a home up for it. And so it's not much happier now. Same prejudice against No, I'm just saying it's much happier now. So now we use the cilantro, the whole white onion, um, the, well, we roasted the white onion along with the jalapenos and serranos and tomatillos. They came out a little soft, so about 15 minutes in a 400 degree oven. Once they come out, we spoon them. You saw that I spooned them into the blender. We blend, blended it up with a little bit of hot, hot water um, in the blender, just a little, just to get it to, um, to the point where it blend, you know, it was smooth. Mm -hmm. Then we added the cilantro, the poor, poor, poor cilantro. Now the cilantro is much happier. Cracked, the cilantro is happy in his happy little house in the tomatillo salsa. Half of the salsa <laughs> we poured into house. the happy house and into this container, um, which we are I'm so happy we bought these. These glass containers with little lids so we could have, you know, how when you put stuff in plastic containers. Those are not good for you. BPA. Yeah, well, it's BPA, not just that. BPA, 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 it, all of that. So... Uh, we put half of it in this container, still warm and, and delicious. And then the other half, we left in the blender and we took those poor homeless avocados and we gave them a home and put them in the blender and blended those up into this, which is divine. You guys got to try this. It's so good and so easy. A little salt, a little cumin, that's it. I put a little lime juice in the avocado version mm -hmm. just um, because, you know, we kind of, not we didn't make it more bland, but, it, you know, uh, avocados need acidity. Yeah. yeah, so to keep green, their green color. So we just took one uh, lime and, and squeezed it inside. And here is the final result. We've already tasted it. It's and amazing. I can tell you, it's delicious. It's two fists up for me. What about you? Two fists for so me. Boom. I mean, and not just because I made it, but, right. you know. And we had the daughter child try it. Yes, she, she came loves down. both. She loves the avocado one better. Mm -hmm. yeah. And she said the jackfruit. Which he completed. Which I completed. We're going to doctor it up. So right now it's just a base. It's just like if you was to grill a chicken breast and shred it. And when she tastes it, she was like, it tastes like water. And that's because we had to take away the brine that was there first. We just it's have to work on the jackfruit. That's yes. all. That's all. We'll figure it out. Mm -hmm. uh, and so we'll load up <laughs> our finished video of what it is that we made. Right. And with that, what you got to do? Yeah, we're talking about some stuff that can save your life here. What, what was that? Which one? Uh, Somatillos or cancer? Or oh, cilantro? Okay. Uh, all veggies, really. Just keep it green. And stay fly. Ooh.